All right, in this video, I want to talk about shading regions for Venn diagrams. And in this video, I'm just going to use Venn diagrams involving two sets, A and B. And I don't know, sometimes you see these questions, and they want you to just, again, basically shade regions. So in this first example here, I've got my circle A that stands for the set A, and my circle B that stands for the set B. Notice we have the overlap shaded or the intersection, okay, the, the, uh, the part that's in common. So in this case, what we have shaded, we've got the, the, uh, the, the set A intersect B shaded. We've got the stuff shaded in common. Notice in our second, uh, our second little Venn diagram here or that we've got shaded, we've got all of A shaded and all of B. So we've used everything from A, everything from B, We've shaded, so basically we've shaded, you've been shaded if you were in circle A or in circle B, okay? So if we had to shade the, reg the region A or B, we just shade everything, okay? So kind of, again, an important idea. The intersection, you just shade the overlap. For union or or, we shade everything. Now, in my bottom picture here, we have circle A here in the middle, and everything outside of A is shaded. In this case, what we've shaded, we would label that as A prime. And what that stands for is the complement. This can basically be read as not A. So basically, you got shaded if you were not in circle A, which means we shade everything else. So um, let's take a few examples here. So I'm going to shade, um, in each case, I'm going to shade in the first example, A or not B. In the second one, I'm going to shade not A and not B. And in the third one, I'm going to shade not A or B. Okay, so a little confusing. I've got a bunch of little diagrams here because I think it's a good idea sometimes to do them just a little bit at a time. So in the first example here, if we want to do A or not B, well, if we shade A, we would just simply shade, um, you know, everything in circle A. So now I've simply shaded uh, the set A, so I'm going to kind of build up to it. So that would be just simply A. Not B would be everything outside of circle B, so I'm going to do not B next. Well, not B would be everything outside of circle B. So everything outside of circle B. Right, good enough. And when we do A or not B, basically everything that either got shaded in the first part or in the second part, that's what we're going to shade in our final answer. So basically, you can almost kind of imagine if you stuck the first the first picture over top of the second picture, you would shade everything uh, that you have. So from the first picture, everything in circle A got shaded. <clears throat> that's our set A. <coughs> um, we shade everything that's not B. So not B, we said, was everything outside of circle B. And now we've got our final Venn diagram. So this very bottom one would be the final answer. We've basically shaded everything that's in A or that's not in B, okay? So notice we still shaded a little bit of B simply because it was in the A circle. But we're just now sticking kind of the two pictures together to get our final, our final solution here. Suppose we want to uh, shade not A and not B. Well, if I want to do not A, that would be everything outside of circle A. So everything outside of circle A would give me the first little diagram. If I do everything that's not in B, well, that would be everything outside of circle B. All right, we're having fun. It's like uh, coloring in kindergarten, right? So. Um, when we look at the intersection now, we look at the overlap. We look at everything that was shaded in both pictures. That's what we're going to shade. So 
we have to shade everything that's in common. So notice um, in my first picture, we basically left out circle A. In our second one, we left out circle B. But in both of them, we shaded the stuff outside of the circles. So if we shade not A and not B, we're just going to get the region that's outside of both circles. And you can almost read this, you know. You get shaded if you're not in circle A and if you're not in circle B. That's the little region we've got shaded now in our Venn diagram. So this would be our final answer here. Um, last but not least here, one more example. And I think these are definitely confusing the first time, <clears throat> you know, the first few times you see them, kind of shading these regions and doing all this. Um, but sets turn out to be super important in mathematics. It's usually not prevented or, or presented in a very good way. Um, but but they kind of end up being a, a core of a, a, a lot that happens in upper upper math. It's they're pretty fascinating to me, I think. So suppose we want to do um, you know not the set A or B. Well, we said at the very beginning if we do A or B, you're going to get shaded if you're in circle A or in circle B. So I'm going to first shade that in. Okay, so this is not what we want, but this is the, the set A or B. Well, now when we do the complement of that, we do everything outside of that. So if we do everything on the outside of that, well, we would just not uh, simply shade in anything in our two circles A or B. Oh, I shaded a little bit in B. I shouldn't have, though. Okay, so this would now be the set A or B not. Okay, so not A or B. And notice one little thing here that's interesting. Notice we've ended up shading the exact same two regions, right? It turns out that not A and not B is equivalent to not A or B. And this is something that ties into what's known as De Morgan's Law. And, uh, you know, I'll talk about that in another video if people are interested. I can certainly do some more with, uh, you know, three circles. Um, but again, a little confusing. Again, I, I kind of recommend doing doing them kind of piecemeal until you get kind of uh, familiar with them. But once you do a few, hopefully they won't be too bad. But uh, still, even you know, sometimes I get kind of tricked up, you know, about the region they're talking about. So, as with most things, uh, just practice, and hopefully it'll make some sense for you.